Hi guys, Jack here with Crystal Clear Arts. Um, this will be my first tutorial on COD Multitude. I'm um, hopefully if we get a positive response from this tutorial, then I'll hopefully be able to start a series on this channel on Call of Duty editing. You can find lots of other editing tutorials on my channel. There's a link in the description to that. I'm also making a preset package and that will be released when I hit 1000 subscribers on my channel so please everybody sub to my channel link in the description and this channel as well for letting me do this um, okay so today we're going to be doing motion tracking in Adobe After Effects this is basic this one as the video you saw at the start was only two seconds long because I didn't want to make the file size too big so first of all you're going to open up After Effects and you're going to go to Composition, New Composition and select the preset HDV slash HDTV 720 29.97 um, square pixels and make it about 2 seconds long or however long you want it to be for the clip that you're using you can download the clip I'm using in the link in the description thanks to Wanted Snipes for providing that okay so now I'm just gonna import my clips so I'm gonna go to file import file and I'll scroll down and find my clip then drag it into your composition and that looks right um, now I'm going to track the text to this here so I'm gonna select my text tool and type in CCA for crystal clear arts I'm just going to drag it across and I'm going to make this a bit smaller select that make it a tiny bit smaller now I'm going to rotate it we're going to rotate it so it looks like it's on the angle the same as that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the arrow up here the selection tool right click Go to transform rotation and type in minus six and hit OK. So now it looks at a similar angle to this bin here. Now what we're gonna do is we are going to go to layer new and we're gonna make a new null object. This is gonna hold all the information where your motion track. So you're going to leave that out of the way for now. And now what you're going to do is you can change your workspace to motion tracking. And it will change it all around so you've got your motion tracker and stuff over here. Or you can go to window and tracker. And that will bring it up as well. Um, I'm just going to remove these two. And I'm going to come over here. And I'm going to select the bottom layer which is my clip and I'm going to click track motion now you're going to get this here and you can just move this out of the way so you can get into it and I'm just going to move this over to the box that you're on and you can resize these two boxes here and basically the smaller the boxes these two boxes here the smaller the area the more accurate your motion tracking is going to be but you want to make sure you've got two distinctive points in it so here you've got a darker bit and here so that looks about right now all you're going to do is you are going to analyze it so you just click play and let it analyze it and now all that will happen is if you watch it it'll start playing the clip slowly and it'll start tracking and this box should stick with the area you've selected on the video so just wait for that to finish don't forget to rate this video guys whatever you think it deserves so now we're just waiting for this to track across to here and then once it's finished we can uh, apply our stuff to it
Okay, nearly finished now. <coughs> okay, so now that's finished, more or less. And as you can see, the clip is just tracking across here. And this is sticking with it. So the best thing to do now will be to just stop it there. And as you can see, you've got all these little blue squares here and these like your keyframes for it moving across now all you're going to want to do is go to edit target and if null one is not already selected which is your null object then change it here to your null object and hit ok and now click apply and make sure the applied dimensions are x and y and hit ok now just wait for this to load up taking you back to your composition screen now and as you can see down here you've got all your little keyframes which is a lot of keyframes my after effects is being a bit slow at the moment right here we go now what you're going to want to do is if we move it back over here and scroll up our null object over here it moves with the screen so as you can see it's slowly moving along that path now all we want to do is attach our text over here to our null object so you're going to grab your text go across to parent and click the little tab and click null one or you can just grab this little pig whip swirl over here and pig whip it pig whip it to the uh, null object like that so now as you see if we slowly move it across here the text is part of the null object and it's slowly moving across only problem with that is it doesn't look like it's part of the actual area so the best thing that I like to do is if you select your text layer hit T and it will bring up your opacity or opacity and just take that down a bit and basically it blends it in a bit more so there you go now it looks like it's actually part of it slowly move it across and it'll stick with the box so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial guys um please remember to rate comment and subscribe and check out my channel um all the best